Okay, so this is the this is the bindery at the Museum of Printing History, and uh, uh, we have tools here uh, that can show you how uh, book binders used to um, used to protect uh, books. So today it's it's not necessarily made this way anymore, but I'm going to take you uh, through the different steps about um, how a, a binder, when you would receive a book uh, from the printer, uh, would make it into a hardcover binding to protect the text block. So we would receive the, the book as a paperback. And so a paperback, basically what the printer does, is not going to print every single sheet separately. It's going to have a big sheet of paper and it's going to have to um, lay it out on there so uh, that when it's going to fold the pages into a signature, you'll be able to read it uh, from, top to, uh, from top to bottom. So I received my paperback, I took the cover off, and I took all the different signatures apart. And I need now to, to, make a, to saw it in a, in a strong way. I'm going to take the book, book to the round backer right here. I'm going to set it in very gently. Close it. Since they are folded, those signatures, um, I can just saw gently, not very deep, um, on, the, on the spine of the book, and it will punch a hole in the middle of the signatures where, where I want the needle um, to go through. Now, now that you have um, holes in your signatures, we're going to take it to the sewing frame. We're going to take the whole text block to the sewing frame and start sewing the book. We've already started. There's a, there's a few signatures right here. So I picked a colored thread on purpose so you would be able to see. So I'm going to go in the signature and back out. So now, let's say we were done sewing this text block, and I would take it out. So I'm going to put a layer of PVA right here, so that it's, it protects the uh, bottom of my signature, because to round the book, I'm going to have to use a hammer. So now we're going to get back to the round backer. And now, since because of the thread, the text block is thicker here, you see it wants to it wants to spread already, so we're prepared for the rounding. So we would, use, we would use a hammer, and we would go from the center down, 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 down. Of course, we would not hit, hit it very hard, but we're going to push those signatures down from the middle around this edge right here. And so they would, little by little, mold against these two edges. Those grooves, uh, are there for a reason, and rounding a, a, a book is not to make it look pretty. Here, when you're going to open it, the board is going to slide in, the, in this groove, and so it'll, it'll just help the, uh, the cover to last longer. But now, this is kind of rough. If I'm going to add something, especially if I'm going to add leather, this will show on the outside. So will this. So I'm going to have to hide all of this and make it all smooth before I'm going to actually add the cover material to the book. We've hidden everything and now if you touch it, it's one smooth binding. So we would just add layers of paper and then send everything. Same on the spine right here. And now we're ready to cover the book. We can cover a book with paper. Uh, we also have book cloth and of course you would have leather. So this one here has the corners on top of the, it's a quarter leather with the corners. But like we said, you could also use cloth. This one has a cloth spine with marble paper. Uh, the last thing you want to do with the classical binding is either to put a label, if, if, you, had, if you had used uh, cloth or paper, uh, you might want that label to be gilded. Gilding can be considered a whole other profession. A lot of binders can do a minimum of gilding, but most of them would actually do their binding and then take it to um, a professional to do the, the gilding. So we would probably use gold leaf, and uh, you would have to heat 
to heat up some tools, you would put your gold leaf and you would just roll it and you would get one of these patterns. Now, if you want to put the title, this is what you would use and you would have types that you would just set up right here and then the same, you would use, you would use it and print it with pressure and heat uh, on the spine. And that's it.